Welcome back to the show, everyone. Uh, a pleasure to have our next guest join us uh, because I was thankfully part of her Christmas list where she sent out her incredible, world-changing, mind-numbingly delicious banana bread. Yes, and it is International Banana Bread Day, and we're here to celebrate and have a little taste test with Erin Ireland. How are you, my friend? I'm great. Thank you so much for having you me. You did not know that this was International Banana Bread Day. I had no idea. And I, I chose the date for this, so it was really meant to be. Serendipity, my friend. Now, you have to explain this banana bread and why you came up with this recipe. Why I came up with the recipe, well, I'm kind of an extremist when it comes to flavors. So without giving too much away about the bread, um, I'd say it's a little bit salty, it's got some vanilla, it's got lots of cinnamon, and um, it's very moist. And of course, it's got the macadamia nuts and, and very and milky milk chocolate on top. So the chocolate is key. This is the, it's, it's both decadent and yet it, it actually kind of feels like it might be good for you at the well, same time. Why don't you tell your story about the run? Well, I, I went out for a 10K after this and I ran my fastest, I ran a personal best 10K after I ate your banana bread. So I will always call it my PB banana bread. And I was gonna say that maybe that's, you had it in your mind and you wanted to burn enough calories in order to <laughs> indulge again. Rest. Now Erin, um, you came up with this recipe and you made this banana bread. It had overwhelming response with friends and people who are lucky enough like me and Michael to get it sent to us. And then this contest came up from the Food Network Canada uh, called Recipe to Riches. Maybe you can explain the contest and the quarter of a million dollars? <laughs> yes. So. This, I, I thought this could be my million dollar idea. So entering this contest, I thought was perhaps a bit of a sacrifice because the grand prize is $250,000. Not the million dollars. <laughs> Not the million think. dollars. Well, I, I do plan on creating a line of products under the It's to Die For brand. Yeah. So this is the first product. Um, and I do feel like I could do this, what I've done to the banana bread to other baked goods. Um, well, this is the beauty of this. I mean, it's familiar, but it's just so different from anyone I've ever had before. So uh, the recipe to riches, how does this all work? You have to go in and in front of judges? It was just like American Idol, so waited around in a, a family-filled banquet room all day, and finally got to appear before and the judges. And are people like carrying pizzas and like? Uh, sort of. I mean, it's, all the food is held in a holding room, so we go and prepare it right before. Yeah. Um, I heated up one piece for them, and the other piece I gave to them cold. I prefer it cold. So appeared before <laughs> the judges, just like American Idol, and the first thing Tony Chapman, one of the judges, said was, "So what makes this the?" best banana bread in the world. And at first I thought, well, oh, he's heard of it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's, um, he's heard the people singing about it. Yeah. <laughs> he must have heard about it. He's been in Vancouver a couple days. Um, so I went on to explain that the, the bread has appeared on local news a couple of times. Um, the Vancouver Canucks have signed the bread. Oh, we've and got I footage of Alex Burroughs. We have to show it. Oh, yeah, I love this, so, by the way. Uh, uh, Aaron, where, where did you come up with the idea to get the Canucks to sign your bread? I mean. <laughs> Well, I figured they'd never done something like that before. and Probably I not. <laughs> I was invited to this signing event by the Fan Zoo, this company who um, does these sports memorabilia <laughs> events with professional athletes. So I just wanted to do something a little different, and I do like to bring the banana bread around with me wherever I go. <laughs> so you got Bird to sign it. What other Canucks? Mason, uh, Mason Raymond? Raymond. He had a cast on his hand, though, so he had to sign it with his left hand. <laughs> that was hard. And um, Mikhail Samuelson, who actually used to be in the food business. What I think, think he said that he was a baker, but it was kind of hard to understand. Or baked. Okay. Uh, it was hard to Aaron, <laughs> so you presented to the judges recipe to riches. Uh, you got what's called a golden ticket. What what does that mean? What's next? What is the prize? So unfortunately the golden ticket doesn't mean that I'm going to the finals. It means that the bread will be considered for the finals. So right now they're going to look at the cost effectiveness, um, if they can mass produce it, and I'm sure a number of other things. Um, so I'm because crossing fingers. Because this will fingers. go into production for President's Choice, is that what you're saying? Yeah. So the, the prize is the $250,000 for the grand prize, and then each category winner for each yeah. different food category gets $25,000. <laughs> Um, but this product would be mass produced as a President's Choice item. So it would How be available. exciting would that did be you for get you? Did you any feedback from the judging panel? I mean, or did they just go, mm, eat, and then you walk out of the room with well, your golden ticket? They, they did agree that it was very unique. They really liked the toppings. Um, one, an, another thing that Tony Chapman said was, this is banana bread. This has been done before. This is old news. And I said, well, 
I, I agree with you. Banana bread is stereotypically kind of boring. I yeah. mean, it's found in every cafe, every yeah. supermarket out there. So obviously it's a favorite, but I feel like this gives banana bread a whole new name. This is spices it up a little. It's exciting. It's got topping. It's got crunch. So it's got everything. Have you figured we out a new name for it yet? Maybe macadamia cake. I don't know. <laughs> oh, right, that's right? pretty no, good. It's too good. Okay, uh, uh, now here's the thing. Go to the recipe to Rich's <laughs> website to find out about the contest because it's all about Food Network uh, Canada. Yeah. But but we wanted to have our own taste test today yes. to see if it really truly is to die for. Well, and I think one of the keys for anything to be a success is it has to cross cultural boundaries. Right. So people that have never experienced anything like this before have to learn to appreciate it uh, in their native tongue, as it were. And so here are two German interns, uh, Marius and David, who I uh, also call Hans and Franz, which I know they think <laughs> is yeah, really they, funny. they don't find Hans and Franz that funny. Uh, guys, do you have banana bread in Germany? Uh, no, we don't. Never heard of it. Never heard Really? How never, do you okay. say it's to die for in German? Ich würde dafür sterben. That's what she said. Is, okay, is take a piece. Awesome. Uh, I hope you love it. Aaron, do you get nervous? Oh, just try try away. Just take it. This already cut. Go, go guys. Thank you. Um, Aaron, do you get nervous when people are trying it? Does it freak you out? Not anymore. I do feel pretty confident about the bread and actually in the green <laughs> room. It's a good What do you say? Yeah. Yeah? Sehr, sehr gut. Okay. <laughs> oh, I heard sehr, sehr good. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I, think, yeah. I think we need subtitles again. I know. What Just every now and then if you say, yeah, yeah, you're good. We said, uh, we it love it. It's very good. We love, love it. it. <laughs> we love yes. it. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> if the Germans love it, because you can tell these guys, very picky about what they eat. That's why they're so short, uh, is because they're very, very, very picky. Well, Aaron, uh, oh, good luck. If you want to find out more about Aaron's obsession with food, because it truly oh, is an obsession, you can go to her website because everything she makes is to die for, and you can no, no, find no. out it's, more. It's. I would die for sterben. I would die for sterben. I don't know why I feel like I should. Slap <laughs> was that pretty close? That was, that was bang on. Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> Thank We're gonna take a quick break.